Welcome to our lesson on converting between top-heavy fractions and mixed numbers. So we begin with this blue diagram here, where you can see we have two holes here and here, plus one third. So as a mixed number, two and one third. But we can also count the thirds. So here we have three, add another three, which is six, and another one, which is seven. So as a top heavy fraction, we have seven thirds. In the next diagram, you can see we have one, two, three holes, plus one more half. So as a mixed number, it is three and one half. As a top heavy fraction, we can count the number of halves. So we have two, add a number two, which is four, six, and again, seven. So three and one half, is seven halves. Do you want to try and write this diagram as a mixed number and top of a fraction? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here we have one, two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. At the top of a fraction, you can see we have four, add another four which is eight, add three more which is eleven. So 11 quarters. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So we're going to write 13 over 6 as a mixed number. And we'll do this by drawing a diagram. So we'll begin by drawing one hole. And we'll split this up into 6, which is here. And here we have 6, 6. So we need another 1. So now we have 12, 6. And we need one more to make the 13 6. So in total, we have two holes and one 6. So we're going to draw these three holes, which is 1, 2, and 3. We'll split them up into fifths. So now we have a total of 5 fifths, 10 fifths, add another 5, which is 15 fifths. And we need two more fifths, which is here. So in total, we have 17 fifths. Do you want to try and write five thirds and then mix number? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for five thirds, we have one hole, which is three thirds, plus two more. So in total, we have one and two thirds. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.